So I made a lot of pictures with the Panasonic uh, HD camera, the HDV 180. It has a 10 megapixel photo camera, which you normally don't use on a video camera. Uh, but in this case, I went back to my favorite tree. It's overgrown with moss, and it was a cloudy day. Cloudy day is not so good for pic taking pictures normally, but in this case, I took a lot of pictures since this cloudy day shows in nice diffused light the tree and the video camera is quite light sensitive so it's good to take a lot of pictures i just go around and you see the tree trunk from all sides i left all the pictures in um, it's 230 pictures i think it sorted out only one that it couldn't use maybe i should have taken out a few more then you can run the program by clicking start if it has a problem it will not finish and it will let you know you can add more pictures or take some out in this case i um, it was lucky and the result is going to be something like what you see here on the left on the right um i have to drag this down a bit because the xbox recorder is just over it so in this case you will see the tree all the point clouds or the points from the point clouds on the tree and the camera position that i used to take pictures from every or almost every angle of the tree um, given quite a detailed point cloud i was quite surprised with that Can go closer and see the detail. If you switch on the gizmo or make it visible, it's always there. But you can double click on the point in the picture and it will move the gizmo to the point you want to rotate around. Wait right, for now, take away the point cloud. I can load the model. This will take a little bit of time. I can now remove the points of the point cloud and here's the final result of the image. So this is the tree in 3D, quite fascinating, it even got some stuff off, off the side, relative good detail. And because of the cloudy day there are no shadows, the light is quite even. So as this now seems to be working, I immediately continued. Uh, by the way, if you are in this mode with the pictures, you can also take the mouse, left click, keep the shift and move this picture around or make it smaller or bigger. I'll just uh, show you quickly what I did here. I just wanted to have a 3D capture of the forest floor this interesting root formation with moes. So again, I dumped in all the pictures, it's 91 in total. I didn't uh, take out all these pictures that are not sharp. Doesn't seem to matter. May improve the result if you do. Uh, I should have taken out this one, but in any case, you can see with the green camera next to it, they're all accepted. And so let's go over to the point cloud that was generated from that. Again, once it's finished, it's usually upside down. In this case, uh, don't know where we are. Ah, here it is. Win the gizmo. So 
So this is the formation. And again, the recorder buttons are over my button here. You can see I walked in front and made them two, three different angles uh, from the top. The um, pictures. Let's load the model. And here we are. Quite fascinating. So this is actually where a mouse seems to be living. You can export this model, or actually you can take it directly out of the directory that it was created in and then load it in any other 3D program that you want to use. Anyway, I thought it's nice, I wanted to share this with you. Um, the program here is Mesroom. Download the latest version, it's a lot faster, it's not so accurate as the previous, but it uh, yeah, gives you faster results. Okay, thank you.